Hey, hey, it's Jen from Crafting with Crazy, and I am thrilled to be partnering with Crayola for Hispanic Heritage Month. Now, my family is originally from Colombia, and my abuelita used to gift all of her grandchildren a marranito, which is a red clay pig piggy bank that we used to break open at a milestone event or a big birthday. And red clay is a popular medium used in Colombia by artisans to make pottery. So today we will be making our version of a marranito. It won't be a piggy bank, but it'll be one that we'll have fun decorating later. And we're going to use Crayola's air dry clay to make one. Okay, we won't really need much for this project aside from some air dry clay, a paper towel or a towel, a paintbrush, and just a little bit of water. All right, so first we are going to form the body of the pig. And I do recommend taking off any rings so that the clay doesn't get lodged into the stones and so they don't leave any impressions on the clay, right? So we're going to roll one large piece a touch smaller than the palm of your hand. All right, so now we are going to tear off four equal pieces of clay and we are going to roll them to about the size of a dime. So we'll have four rolled pieces. All right, once we have all four pieces um, rolled, we'll start to form them into cubes with rounded ends. And we'll do this by gently pressing on them using your pointer and thumbs until they form into a cube, kind of like this. And we'll repeat that three times. And don't worry about them looking exactly the same. It'll work out, I promise you. So I'm gonna use this side as my bottom since it has that long crease. And then we're going to take a little bit of water with our paintbrush and brush that on to one flat end of the soon to be Maranito's leg. And that's going to help the clay adhere together. But you don't want it to be too wet, right? Because then it, the clay will start to crack once it starts to dry. So you want to make sure not to use too much water. And now we're going to roll the clay from the leg onto the body. And we are going to do that all around the leg just like this so it's attaching really nicely to the body of the marranito now we're going to go back in with a wet paintbrush remember not too much water we don't want it to crack once it starts to dry so a little bit goes a long way and this will give it a more finished look and then after you're done with that we are going to pinch the ends of the legs to give it a tapered look and don't worry about the legs looking exactly the same length or the same size, we will work that out a little bit later. Adding the second leg the same way, so brushing a little bit of water and gently pressing it down. Don't worry too much about the legs being close together. We can use the end of the paintbrush actually to um, help you work that in between space and also roll the clay onto the body of the pig like I'm doing here. It is more challenging as you add each leg, but it's not too crazy. And I know that you can do it. I believe in you because we are all crafty. It's just the muscle that some of us might use more frequently. So maybe it's a little bit easier, but we are all creative and we all have that power to create. All right, so you can do it. And we're going to pinch here again to taper it. I'm going to take my pinky to kind of separate the two legs a little bit. And we'll repeat that two more times and then use the end of the paintbrush to separate the legs just a little bit like this. And then we'll go back in with a wet paintbrush again. And that will help seal the edges. Remember, you don't want it to be too wet again because the clay will crack once it starts to dry. And now I've reminded you a bunch of times already. Um, so if it is too wet, just dab it off a little bit with a wet paper towel. All right. So we can stand our marranito and gently push down on the top so the legs even out and we don't have a wobbly marranito. All right, so now we're gonna make the snout and we're gonna roll a ball maybe a third of the size that we used for the legs. And we're once you have your ball, you're going to flatten it in between your pointer and your thumb so it's about a quarter of an inch thick and maybe I'm going to say half an inch in circumference. It really depends on the size of your marranito. 
Um, and almost forgot, I'm gonna brush just a little bit of water on one of the flat sides and press it onto the front of the face. So once the snout is on, we are going to roll two more balls, um, about half the size that we used for the legs, maybe even smaller than that, honestly, um, but we'll figure it out as we go. All right, once those are formed, we're going to turn them into triangles by pinching three corners just like this. So we're going to pinch and then we are going to flatten them. And then we're going to pinch again and flatten again. So we'll do that for both ears. All right, so we'll want our triangles to be about a quarter of an inch thick. And once you have them both ready, they are good to go for attaching to the marranito. And we'll do that by brushing a little bit of water again and pressing gently onto the body of the marranito and working the clay around in the same manner that we did for the legs. Okay, so we'll repeat that on the other side and then we're ready to work on the tail. We're going to roll a piece of clay into the tail about an eighth of an inch thick and maybe an inch and a quarter long. Once we have the right thickness, we are going to pinch away any excess of the tail. And we're going to flatten the end that we just trimmed off. And we'll brush that with a little bit of water and press that onto the end of the marranito and really work that clay in so it's adhering really nicely. And then we are going to gently, very gently curl the tail of the marranito. Now all of the clay is molded into a marranito. What do you think? All right, so now for the last part. Now we'll take the end of our paintbrush and press into the snout to form the nostrils of the marranito. And then you can use either the same paintbrush, that's what I did, or a larger one to form the eyes. And we're going to press deeper into the marranito and move it in a circular motion to make a larger hole for the eyes. And there you have it. And now we have our marranitos. And what comes next is what I think the most difficult part, which is waiting for this guy to dry. And since it's a pretty thick piece of clay, it'll take three to five days, more or less. I want to say that's how long it took this guy to dry. But once it does, it'll have a white finish to it and it'll, it'll look a bit chalky. Um, but it'll be ready for you and your little ones to paint and have fun. We hope you'll make marranitos of your own and happy Hispanic Heritage Month.